lesson is about surface area of a composite 3D object, and it is a word problem. So let's take a look at what our word problem is going to be. So Amelia made the gingerbread house below for a baking competition. Now she plans to spread icing on the roof and all four sides of the house. What is the area that Amelia will cover in icing? So let's go back and let's mark the text. So sh she made a gingerbread house. Now she plans to spread the icing on the roof and all four sides of the house. And then of course, we're looking for area. So we know our units in these are inches are gonna be in inches squared. So that problem is basically telling us that she's gonna do all the walls of the house, but this bottom rectangle that we see will not be done because it said all four sides of the house. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about what shapes we see. So I'm gonna list them by like the roof. Let's look at the roof. So I see I have a triangle here and I have a triangle on the other side that matches that. So I have two triangles for my roof. I also have a rectangle and I have a rectangle on the other side of this roof. So I have two rectangles. And now when we're talking about, and I'll put the sides information over here, the sides of the house, notice we have one, two, three, four. We have four rectangles. So as we work this problem today, we're gonna need to know the formula for the area of a triangle and just for the area of rectangles. Let's go ahead and mark our picture also. I see, because I think it's gonna be easier once we get started. This is a rectangle. We know opposite sides of a rectangle are equal. So if this is a 10, this is a 10. And here is a rectangle in the back. So if this is a 10, we do, we do know that this line here is also a 10. When we see this, the eight and the nine, if this is a nine, we know that's a nine, and we know that this is a nine also. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll get started. And if we need to mark any other ones, we'll um, go ahead and do that. So when we're doing the marking, I'm going to do it in different colors. So for our triangles, all of our information is gonna be in blue. And I see that the height of the triangle is a three. And the base of this triangle, oh, see how this is a rectangle? And if this is an eight, we know that this dimension is an eight, and that is an eight. So we're gonna need that information as we're filling in our uh, formula. So area is equal to one half base times height. Area is equal to one half. The base was eight and the height was three, right here. So one half of eight is four and times three. So our area is gonna be equal to 12, but that is just for one. So we need to go ahead and say 12 times two, because we have two triangles, is equal to 24, and that is gonna be in inches squared. So there is our first dimension. All right, so now we have for the roof, we're still on the roof, we have two rectangles and it's this part of the roof the rectangles for the roof and when i'm looking at that notice and if this is a 10 this is a 10 here also because remember these all of these um are parallel and they would represent the same number so i have a 10 for the roof and i have a five so with that, 
a rectangle, I'm going to write area is equal to length times width, and area is equal to 10 times 5, so our area is equal to 50, and that is, again, inches squared. But remember, we have this side of the roof that's facing us, and then there is this back rectangle that matches it. If you think about what you see outside, your, your roof line, there's two of them. So again, I have to do 50 times two is equal to 100 inches squared. So that dimension we're going to definitely need. And now we're done with the roof. Okay, well, you know, I always like to, I'm going to draw a little line here because now I'm going to my sides of the house. And as I look at the sides of the house, I see I have one rectangle here that's nine inches by eight inches. And notice on the other side of the house, I also have the nine inches and see how this is marked eight? we need to go ahead and we are going to mark this an eight also. So for the sides of the house, you will see that we actually have two that are the same. That makes sense, right? So we're going to go ahead and I'm gonna write my sides so far in purple. I'm going to do the nine and the eight. So area is equal to length times width. Area is equal to that um, height or the length doesn't matter, nine times eight. So area is equal to 72. But remember, we have two sides, they are the same. So I'm gonna multiply 72 times two and I get 144 inches squared. So that's only for two sides. Notice we have four rectangles for the bottom part of the house. So now we must go ahead and do the final one. And I am going to, I guess I'll just use my black pen that when I'm doing the final one, I see I have a um, 10, which ones did we, we did this side. Okay, so now we need to go ahead and we need to actually do the front rectangle and the back rectangle. Well, the dimensions that go with what I just outlined are a nine and a 10. So now I have a front and the back of the house that match. So I'm gonna have two sides and area is equal to length times width. Area is equal to 10 times nine. And we know that that is 90, but remember we don't have one, we have two. So 90 times two is equal to 180, and that would be inches squared. 180 inches squared. So here is a dimension that we need. So before I go ahead and I add my um, units together, I wanna make sure I have everything. My roof, I have two triangles, there it is, two rectangles, here they are. For the bottom of my house, I have a front and a back, which was here, and I have two sides of my house, which is here. So that means that I have everything that I need. So to find the surface area, we are going to go ahead and add everything that we see here. So let's start with the 144, that I have right here. I'm going to add 180 to it. I like to put a check mark to make sure I get them all. 100 and a 24. So as we add this up, four plus four is eight. 
2 plus 8 is 10, and 4 more is 14. Carry my 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. So the total surface area is going to be 448 inches squared. A lot of work for one problem, but we played detective and we were able to mark our dimensions and just break it up into little parts. And then it made the problem much easier. If this video was helpful to you today, please add a like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe for more Math with Marsha. See you again soon.